It just basically came down to who had more bonus points. And they got back on track against Lehi, and, and they're looking for guys to compete. They're looking for guys who aren't typically in the lineup. Anthony Kassar, for instance, is not going to go for Penn State today at heavyweight, even though he was introduced beforehand. This is opportunities here. We could see 15, 20 different guys in the Penn State lineup in dual meets this year just because of the Olympics and the different training and the plans they have for guys either coming back from injury or who, who have battled injury throughout the course of their career. Yeah, absolutely. And right here is one of those opportunities you mentioned, bonus points. Roman Bravo Young is ranked number four in the country, and that's something we haven't seen from Penn State this year. A lot of bonus points wins. They've been squeaking by seven, five, seven, six victories. Today's the day for them to go out. Even guys like Roman Bravo Young, you still have something to prove today. Go out, get a bonus point win. Yeah, he's ranked fourth in the country. Only at three of his matches so far, he's six and zero, oh, but only three of those he's picked up bonus points, and all of those just major decisions. So no tech falls, no pins yet for Bravo Young. Carmen Ferrante on the mat for Penn here. Sophomore from Newton, New Jersey. So Bravo Young, the sophomore out of Tucson. An All-American last year, eighth place finish at Nationals. Fifth at the Big Tens. Undefeated in his high school career at Sunnyside High. Trying to follow up the upset at 125 for Brandon Meritor. Over 10th ranked Michael Colocchio. So Penn State has a 3-0 lead in the duel after the 8-5 win for Meritor with the riding time points. Not a ton of legs attack, uh, leg attack so far here for Bravo Young. No. And there's another counter from Ferrante, and Bravo Young spins behind. An incredible athlete. I think that's what was most impressive about him last year as a freshman. He found ways to win using his athleticism. Yeah, and most people out there will, will remember the, the kind of flip <laughs> move that he did uh, that went all over Sports Center and all over ESPN, certainly bringing some, some light to his athleticism. But 182-0 in high school, four state titles, that's hard to do, to never slip up once in high school. And so you get a guy like that on the mat, he's certainly an athlete, if nothing else. Went 25-7 and seven last year, 6-0 and oh this year, defeated Jarrett Lane of Lehigh on Friday at Stabler Arena. And a counter from Bravo Young in, and he finishes crashing to a double. Two minutes, 10 seconds into the first. 4-1 Bravo Young with a pair of takedowns. Go off the edge of the mat, come back to the middle. And Ferrante, you gotta give him credit, he's a pretty good wrestler here. He's pretty good at timeout here. Looks like a little bit of blood time, but uh, this is an NCAA qualifier for Penn. I mean, uh, so really good wrestler on his own right. Just Rowan Bravo Young, just such an athlete. It's, he's a different level. And Ferrante was very good in dual meets last year for the Quakers. He had a team high of 44 dual meet points. Uh, Three-time New Jersey State place winner, and he's just a sophomore. So this is another young wrestler. You have a freshman that's ranked 10th at 125, a sophomore here at 133, and uh, a bright future for the Quakers. And this is a really good test and a measuring stick to see where they're at coming into rec hall today. Absolutely. Uh, this is a place that I think a lot of teams come to see a little bit about themselves as well. Um, like I mentioned earlier, it's, it's individual battles now. Uh, you've got individual guys trying to prove things, and what better test than to come in here and wrestle the Nittany Lions? That's indicative with the type of schedule that Penn has had so far this year. The Michigan State Open, a great challenge with, I think, six Big Ten teams in the field there. Then they went home to the Keystone Classic, and they won the Keystone Classic, edging Ryder. But that was an opportunity for them to face maybe some competition that is more on par for the Quakers. But they're still going to go to the Midlands after this. Virginia duels, and Roman Bravo Young has his third takedown. So it's a schedule that allows them to be challenged, but also gives the Quakers a chance to gain confidence at times as well. Yeah, and you need that, especially with young wrestlers. It, yeah, they're going to get experience coming out in, in wrestling guys like this, and Ferrante is going to get a good experience out here. He's probably going to learn some things against Roman Bravo Young, but confidence is important as well. Penn State confident after the Meredith upset at 125, and Roman Bravo Young with three first period takedowns. He has a 6-2 lead over Carmen Ferrante. As Ben mentioned, uh, qualifier last year, but that was at 125 for Nationals. Bumps up to 133 here. He took second place in the Keystone Classic. Lost to Virginia's Louis Hayes 3-2 in the finals. Roman Bravo Young, propelled by three first period takedowns, has a 6-2 edge. 59 seconds, and now one minute of riding time as Ferrante's to his feet for the escape. And again, a counter from Bravo Young. Ferrante comes right back. Bravo Young, good sprawl. 
using the arm to pry inside and create leverage and spin and get the takedown. 14 takedowns for Bravo Young now on this season, just one against. And he wants to work on his feet here. Yeah, and he's just so fast. I mean, his feet are where he's in a good spot. And he's going to try to get around him here again and get two more. As he does, he gets that leg in there, locks him up, and has two more points. And Roman Bravo Young going to make it 10-4. But, yeah, he's just so fast on his feet. There's no reason to, to go anywhere else. Yeah, if you look at Ferrante, where he's shooting from, they go off the edge of the mat, 106 left here in the second period. Roman Bravo Young with a 10-4 lead and 1 minute 19 seconds of riding time. Ferrante's shooting from too far away, and Bravo Young's blocking off, and then He's the one who's in the driver's seat. Yeah, he's really controlling the match here, uh, just kind of doing what he wants, the hand fighting, the playing up top. And he's, you just mentioned it, he's just a better, he's just such an athlete. Tries to pass the arm by and come back the other way. Ferrante again, can't even get in on the legs of Bravo Young. He's blocking off and spins behind for another takedown. Six takedowns for Roman Bravo Young. I like how he uses his hands as the first line of defense still. And then he can control the, the body of the opponent by using his hands. Yeah, and it's almost like with Bravo Young, anytime that there's a sprawl attempt, he can just use those hands and scoot his legs around get that left leg locked like you see he has right now. He's got his right leg locked around uh, Ferrante's left leg, and it just kind of it pins him there. There's nowhere he can go. And it's probably Young's choice. He's going to start neutral. So you have two national qualifiers from a year ago squaring off here. Bravo Young, an All-American as a freshman. Penn State lineup that returns eight All-Americans, three national champions. Not all in the lineup today, however, and there's a good sprawl and spin again from Bravo Young back behind. But here's that opportunity we talked about earlier. You're up big, it's 14-5, 15-5 with a riding time. Why don't you go try for a pin here? Let's get one of those bonus point victories, something other than a major decision. You've got that right now if the, if the score stands the way it is. So. Um, you know, here's time, attack for a tech fall. Try to get a pin. That's what this Penn State team is going to need, maybe not today, but once you start to get into the Big Ten schedule. Especially with guys that are going to be in and out of the lineup. When will Shakur Rashid come back for Penn State? What's the plan with Anthony Kassar? If he's not going today, will he go back-to-back -back matches on weekends? Bravo Young drops to the ankle, and it looks like he may go for the bonus points by wrestling from his feet. Perhaps here he can look for a two and two or a two and four by throwing Ferrante to his back. But now Ferrante's finally in on the leg. And Bravo Young just breaks his hips down, gets the leverage. Trying to do so again and maybe lock up a cradle. Instead, he's going to spin. He has the ankle cover. That should be two. It is. It's now 16 to six. Let's see if he's going to go for the cradle again. And he tried. He almost had that cradle lock. They did not award an escape to Ferrante. Now he has it. Shoots edge of the mat, and Bravo Young goes leaping behind with a flashy takedown off the edge. They go. That's Roger Reyna, the head coach of Penn in the background. And Bravo Young with the optional start. Do you think he comes right out front office? I'll answer my own question, no. Yeah, no, I... <laughs> You got 30 seconds to work with. It's a 10 point lead with riding time secure. Doesn't really look to be forcing the issue here. If he was going to go for a tech fall, you'd think he'd be pushing the issue a little bit more. But hey, Ferrante tries one shot and he counters it around the left hand side again for two more. So. Well, the top four wrestlers in this weight class, all Big Ten wrestlers. Including Austin DeSanto of Iowa. It's just going to get tougher from here on out for Bravo Young, but he has an impressive 21 9 win here today at 133, and Penn State extends its lead to 7 0. That's a highly skilled wrestler just controlling the match there for the man they affectionately call RBY.